Leicester's European adventure is all but over for another season after 20 points from the boot of Munster's Ian Keatley condemned the Tigers to only their third home defeat in this competition for a decade. The hosts can grasp shreds of consolation. Manu Tuilagi played all 80 minutes of his first game since the opening day of the season and improved as the match progressed, but no points. They are rooted to the foot of Pool 4 and need to beat both Racing 92 and Castra to have any chance of advancing to the next stage. For Munster, though, another quarter-final beckons. CJ Stander was imperious in the back row and perhaps the most obvious difference between the two sides was the visitors' ability to score when their opponents were down to 14 men. Leicester's determination to match their visitors physically, having been bullied off Thomond Park seven days previously, was obvious, but Dan Cole's eagerness got the better of him. He conceded four penalties inside the first 23 minutes and his fifth, just before half-time, earned him a yellow card. In fairness to Leicester, they were far more abrasive than last week. Their linear speed was impressive but their collective discipline was not and this allowed Munster to steadily exert their authority as the match wore on. It took the visitors a while to find their stride, however. Keatley was rattled in the opening stages and, while he and George Ford traded penalties, it did not come as a surprise that Leicester scored the first try. It was scored by Matthew Tate, who excelled at fullback, after a clever pullback pass from Graham Kitchener. The Munster defence allowed Tate to carve them open a touch too easily but it was a classy finish from the 31-year-old nonetheless. Munster rallied, their forwards doing the heavy lifting, and Keatley was able to kick them into the lead at half-time with three further penalties but Leicester at least could take heart from their scrambled defence. Tuyalagi clattered into Chris Cleet, without much use of the arms, and the impact made the Munster flanker spill the ball. Tate then did superbly when chasing back for a loose ball on his own line but, as the half drew to a close, Munster were edging closer to breaking the dam and Cole headed for the sin bin. Connor Murray had a long-range shot at goal with the last action of the half, he pushed it to the right but it was his scything run early in the second that brought Munster's first try, with Stander finishing off from close range. Keatley converted for a nine-point lead. Tate was again called upon to mop up with Simon Zebo bearing down on him but the Tigers might have been away themselves had Tuyalagi held on to George Ford's clever kick over the top. The signs of rust were understandable but, to his credit, he was up with a chase after a trademark Maisie run and kick ahead from Johnny May brought the Welford Road crowd to its feet. Equally, it was little surprise to see Cleet eating up the ground to beat the England winger to the ball. Back came Cole though, and Leicester, buoyed by May's bit of magic, trimmed the deficit to six with another Ford penalty. The Tigers' tails were up at this stage, Tate again doing his best to wriggle free down the left and they were significantly boosted when Munster's replacement prop John Ryan was shown a yellow card for infringing at the breakdown. Ford's subsequent penalty brought Leicester back to within three. Two miss kicks from Keatley, one a drop goal, the other a penalty, did little to dampen Leicester's hopes of a revival but the Munster fly half was on target with his next effort from the tee and, when he was again a couple of minutes later, the Tigers were out of losing bonus point range. Leicester fans were at least treated to too late, piercing breaks from Tuyalagi in what they must hope is a sign of things to come, with Saracens and Exeter up next and the Premiership surely now their sole focus. But if the England centre's recent trip to see a witch doctor has had the desired effect, the Tigers undoubtedly failed to break Munster's spell. Leicester Tate Tomstone Maloof, 70, Tui Lagi, Tumua, May G. Ford, B. Young's trainer Marli Pola, 29, T. Young's captain Politanau, 57, Cole, Fitzgerald, Kitchener Barrow, 70 Mape Palangi, Williams Hamilton, 57, Calamafoni. Try Tate. Com Ford. Pens Ford 3. Sinbin Cole 41, Munster Zebo Sweetnam, Arnold, R. Scannell, Wooten Keatley, Murray Kilcoyne Scott, 67, O'Byrne and Scannell, 58, Archer Ryan, 58, Clen, Holland, O'Mahony, Cleet O'Donoghue, 67, Stander, Tristander, Cons Keatley, Pens Keatley 6, Sinbin Ryan 61, Referee M. Raynal Fra, Attendance 23,100.